Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Ipsy and BoxyCharm spoiler video for the month of July. I can't believe, I can't believe we've passed the halfway point of the year and we only have half a year left. Where is the time gone? I'm kind of, I need time to process. I started the year thinking this was gonna be the year midway now, midway now. I'm like maybe, maybe those next six months it's gonna be my year, you know? Maybe. Anyways, let's get into these spoilers. As always, I'm gonna start with BoxyCharm first because I feel like that's what people are more interested in. The first spoiler I have is the Kat Berkey Silk Protein Primer. Introducing the ultimate multitasker, a primer that's also a skincare superhero. This powerful formula does more than just prep your skin for makeup. It actually helps improve it over time. Botanical hyaluronic acid and silk amino protein complex provide deep hydration and help plump without clogging pores while zinc and titanium dioxide help create a protective barrier against harmful UVB rays. This seems nice. Not even gonna lie. The packaging looks nice. The description here looks nice. The name of the product sounds nice. Silk protein primer. That just sounds nice. Okay? I wouldn't mind. I want to try it. Send it to me. I want to try it. Let me try it. You always give me these spoilers, but you never give me the products to try. Why? Why? Sorry. We're going to move on. The second product in these spoilers is the Kiss Soul Care Protect Your Light SPF 30 Daily Facial Moisturizer. This weightless formula packs a serious punch, offering both hydration and sun protection in one easy step. This chemical sunscreen also features squalane and niacinamide, so you'll be on your way to soft and balanced skin while helping to keep those damaging UV rays at bay. I'm seeing an, a running theme here. Where protect your skin from the fucking sun because it fucking burns. Today was literally the hottest day that has been here in Miami, and I swear I was sweating every time I walked outside. Like, back sweat instant it was like crazy i was like wow it's really hot out here <laughs> so i guess for summer the theme is protect your skin from the sun because she's a bitch the third product is the herbivore botanicals moon dew one percent baku choil and peptides retinal alternative eye cream need to fake a good night's sleep this eye cream can help. Infused with 1% Baku Choil, a natural plant-derived alternative to retinol and powerful plant peptides, it helps smooth out fine lines and wrinkles for a lifted, youthful look. Plus, with continued use, it helps visibly firm up those pesky eye creases without any irritation. I love Herbivore. Their product packaging is just aesthetically pleasing to me. And, like, I just I have, I have a soft spot. I have a soft spot for them. They were, like, one of the first, like, they had like this rose mist and it was like one of the first things i ever bought from sephora before and like i don't know i guess it was like life-changing in a way this next product if i don't get this in my freaking ipsy i don't get this i swear i will i will end them i want to end them if i don't get this thing come on it's so simple like just throw it in there just throw it in there ipsy come on throw it in there it's the natasha denona fez eyeshadow palette what does fez stand for i think of the kid from euphoria i say kid but we're probably the same age i do that a lot i feel like i'm old i feel like i'm older than i am inspired by nature's powerful elements this collection of desert browns and deep blues is the perfect palette to create stunning eye looks. This blend of five calming shades can be mixed and matched for peaceful summer moments whether you want to blend in or stand out. And I can totally see that. You can totally stand out with this. It kind of reminds me of like shades I have today. Blue and orange. A Fred themed look. <laughs> I don't know. These shades look weird. There's like one speckled one it looks like. There's only one shimmer and then there's an orange, a blue, and a kind of neutrally nude color so i don't know really scream summer but i feel like it's more like a wash of color like you use like the blue and like you put the gold and like you use the cream on the like simple looks i feel like this can go ham very crazy very quickly you know so i don't think this is very beginner friendly but i do think it's still cute and i definitely see myself using it i still have the other natasha denona that my lovely friend jennifer gave me i just can't use it now because it's broken and i want to film with it and it's kind of hard to film with it and i don't know i don't know what to do but i 
feel like I need to fix it. But then isn't that fucking up the formula? I don't know. I really like this. I really like this. This is cute and I want it and I hope I get it because, bro, I never get them. The fifth product is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Dew Wet Balm. Dull skin, not if this glow giving balm has anything to say about it. Packed with hydrating and highlighting goodness. It's like a refreshing drink of water for your face and body. The lightweight formula effortlessly melts into your skin, leaving you with a rosy pink glass skin finish, whether you wear it with or without makeup. I want this. 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 I love Danessa Myrick's products. I love them. I haven't tried a product that I haven't liked. I have liked them. This seems like a kind of emollient kind of balm. And I know what you're thinking. You wear makeup. Like, this is gonna break up your makeup. Like, ugh, it doesn't seem like the type of product I want. But I want to try it. I usually wear the Drunk Elephant blush drops. I wear those every day because I like the like flush of color that it gives my cheeks and I find that it's quick and easy in the morning and then I look kind of put together and like I can leave the house but if I have this then I'll have like a nice glow also so I mean I would like it I want to try it I hope it's like a choice item because I would definitely be choosing it if it was in my options hopefully I'm praying to the ipsy gods at this point the sixth product is the sweet street candy paint lip gloss this pinky brown lip gloss is all you need to add some oomph to your look. Formulated with pearlescent pigments, it gives your lips a voluptuous, juicy shine without any tacky feel. Whether you wear it alone or as a shimmery top coat, your lips will be the star of the show. This looks really pretty, actually. I can't even hate on it. Never heard of the brand Sweet Street, but it seems like it's probably like an indie brand of some sort. It looks super sparkly and it's cute. I don't know. I mean, I don't need more gloss. But I wouldn't mind. If it's a good gloss, I don't mind. I love a good gloss because there's so many bad ones. I hate sticky gloss and there's so much sticky gloss out in the world. So hopefully this isn't that, but it does look very pretty. The seventh and last spoiler for the BoxyCharm box is the Verb Ghost Exfoliating Scalp Nectar. Your scalp will be obsessed with this serum packed with alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, or polyhydroxy acids, PHAs. It gets to work in just 10 minutes to help gently break down buildup in dead skin cells. Unlike physical scrubs, there's no need to get well physical here. Just sit back, relax, and let this chemical exfoliate do its thing. Plus, it's formulated with hydrating ingredients to help prevent any dryness or irritation. When I tell you I need this, I need this. I've spoken openly here about how I've struggled with a dry scalp and how I struggle with uh, just dandruff in general. I just always, it's always been an issue. Dandruff has just been in my life and I've tried everything. And when I went cruelty free, I wasn't allowed to use head and shoulder. Well, I, I'm allowed. Obviously, I'm a grown adult. I can do what I want, but I just am not going to support that, you know? So I'm trying not to support that. I'm not going to buy head and shoulders or whatever sell some blue whatever it is they're not cruelty free so finding a cruelty free option that works for me doesn't give me dandruff was a big struggle so i feel like this a chemical exfoliant for my scalp first of all sounds delightful it sounds nice oh that just sounds like yes please i need this ipsy ipsy gods dear ipsy god <laughs> please give me the verb and danessa myricks and natasha denona in my box the rest is it's fine if I don't get the rest. Just give me Natasha Denona, the verb, a chemical exfoliation, and the mess marks, please. So yeah, those are the BoxyCharm spoilers. I think they're nice. I actually think this is going to be a good month because I like all of those spoilers and if I were to get one of those in my boxes, I wouldn't mind. I think it's a pretty nice, uh array of products hopefully when the choice comes we actually see those products in there because bro they love to do that next let's get on to the glam bag spoilers so uh, i don't see the bag here we'll have to look for it yeah i'm not seeing like a bag spoiler for july there's no bag spoiler at least not yet i don't see one if you happen to see a bag spoiler let me know because i don't see one anywhere so, the first product is the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. Get up to 24 hours of hydration with help from this Hyaluronic Acid Packed Serum. It helps make your skin so dewy and supple without clogging your pores or irritating your skin. Thanks to soothing collodial oatmeal and stickiness, 
not with this serum. I appreciate that they're just like, you don't like sticky serums, you're gonna like this. I love First Aid Beauty and I, I just wanted to try their products for the longest time, but they weren't cruelty free and they just recently converted to being cruelty free and I think that's great and it makes me want to try their products, so um, hopefully I can get them in the subscription boxes that I have, so hopefully I get to try them soon because I really want to and it seems nice. I like hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is like the timeless skincare product. The second product in the glam bag is the Kiss Soul Care Golden Cleanser. This cleanser is the golden ticket to a calm complexion with the power turmeric, manuka honey, and chamomile. This formula removes dirt, makeup, and impurities while leaving your skin feeling cleansed and soft. Plus, the scent of sage and oat milk encourages stillness and helps to soothe the mind super cute. I like that, you know, Key Soul Care, it does actually seem like she's a part of it because she's always so, like, um, mindful, I guess, about what she's putting in her body and, you know, just, like, mental health. Alicia Keys really is, like, to me, someone who does yoga and, like, cares for herself and, like, treats herself well. I need to work on it. I need to learn from Alicia Keys because this seems nice. And what I've tried from Keys Soul Care, I think it's only one thing. I really liked. <laughs> it's like a mist and I love it. It's like a soothing rose mist. It's like a toner mist. It's like the nicest mist ever. I love it. So, I don't know. I don't know about this. I know Manuka Hummy is so good for the skin and so is chamomile. Feels like it'll be nice and very like a self-care moment while you're cleansing your skin, which is nice. The third product is the Lottie London Eyeshadow Quad in the Rose Gold. One look at this gorgeous eyeshadow palette and you'll be hooked. It's packed with nine. I'm confused. This is nine shades. There's only four shades. I think they messed up the description. <laughs> in a mix of ultra metallic, smooth shimmer, and creamy matte finishes, truly designed for any occasion, whether it's for an everyday or a night out, these rose gold shades will add a touch of glamour to your look. I like the shades. I think it's perfect for the summertime, like really cute peachy shades. I've never tried Lottie London eyeshadows, but I think it's nice to see that you're getting like a little quad in your bag. That's nice. The fourth product is the Mo Beauty Divinely Defined Precision Brow Pencil and Brush. This genius eyebrow pencil and brush duo is all you need to take your brow game from zero to hero. Whether you like your brows natural or defined and bold, this brush will help you get there in minutes. I don't know if it's like multiple colors or one color. I hate when they put like one color and then expect it to work for everyone. So if it's like multiple colors, I can get down with it. If it's not multiple colors, I can't get down with it. You know, that's how I feel. Next, we have the Head Candy Go-Getter Lip Butter in Lemon Citrus, which <laughs> when life gives you lemons, just slather this butter all over your lips for a hydrated supple pout. Formulated with jojoba oil and lemon extract, this formula will not only quench your dry lips but also help brighten your mood with its invigorating zesty scent. Honestly, this sounds incredible. I love citrus scents. I love them. They bring me joy and citrus scents like are just so calming for me. It makes me feel like everything is clean and I like when everything is clean. So, I mean, I do clean. Don't get me wrong, like I'm not just lighting candles and saying it's clean. It's not clean until I clean it, you know, but like in between cleaning, a nice lemon scent is nice. But that has nothing to do. We're dealing with a lip balm here and I think it's a nice option to have. I love lip balm. I need lip balm because my lips are never happy with me. I like that it's not only smells good, but it also has like good ingredients, you know? The next product is the Seraphine Botanicals Liquid Coal Waterproof Liquid Liner. Go ahead and let it all out with an ugly cry because this formula is not going to budge. Truly waterproof, stain proof, and foolproof, this blacker than black liquid eyeliner allows you to easily line your eyes or create those glamorous feline flicks seamlessly without pulling at your skin. I actually have a liner from this company, Seraphine Botanicals. It's not bad. I use it, but I use it to like darken the lash bands on my lashes. I don't actually use eyeliner a lot, but um, if I do, I use something a little thinner. I do think that the tip of these is a little thick. I do think you can get a precise line, but I feel like you have to work harder. That's not really something I want to do, but I like the idea that it's not going to budge. So I feel like that could be something someone else could use. And then the last spoiler for the glam bag is the YC Collection Authentic Glaze Liquid Highlighter in Cocoa Flakes. 
Whether you're going for a subtle glow or a full-on glazed donut vibe, this highlighter is for you. Infused with hyaluronic acid for a boost of hydration and Narcissus flower extract for a soothing effect, it's perfect for accentuating your best features with its easy-to-blend formula. You can wear it alone or mix it with your favorite foundation or moisturizer for a soft focus effect. Plus, the addition of squalene helps keep your skin barrier strong and healthy. Wow, that's a lot of claims for a liquid highlighter. Uh, I don't know if this color works for everyone. I want to say it should if it's like a sheer formula. I don't know. I've never tried this before. But it seems quite interesting with all of the claims. Definitely. Oh. I like the BoxyCharm box more this month. Last month, I preferred the Glam Bag. I don't know. It changes, you know. I guess they like to keep us, you know, on our toes. I don't know what they're doing at this point. I'm excited for the BoxyCharm choices to come out. Hopefully, there are some good products. What do you think of these choices? I would love to hear from you. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The third product is the Herbivore Botanicals Moon Dew 1% Baku Choil Baku Coil Baku Choil. <laughs> Why is it always like some weird shit? Dull. Dull. <laughs> oh, my hair is beating. My hair is beating, bro. I don't want it to fade because. It's expensive to make your own food. That's like the only thing, bro. It's so expensive to like maintain this. You guys have no idea. Red fades so fast. <laughs> this genius eye prep. They like to keep us, you know, is it gonna be a good month? Is it gonna be a bad month? <laughs>